historian Sir Anthony Seldon is with us now. He's the author of Johnson at Ten, a biography lifting the lid on the former Prime Minister's time inside Downing Street. Hi, it's good to see you. Um, he's fizzing at the moment for all sorts of reasons, Boris Johnson. How's he going to be feeling about this one, do you think? Well, he's obviously worried, isn't he, which is uh, uh, sensible because he has a lot to be worried about. He did not run the country well. He was, I think, without any question, the worst prime minister of the last 100 years. And he was in charge at the time of the worst epidemic for 100 years. The public, many of whom suffered, many of whom lost people, have the absolute right to know what happened. There's no precedent here. And if the judge, Baroness Hallett, is calling for it, uh, if it's blocked, it will just lead to endless, interminable protests about let's get to the truth at last. So let's get to the truth, give her, give the judiciary what they want, and let's get to the bottom of it. And I don't think it's going to be pretty. There which is, is exactly why yeah. they're trying to stop it. There is precedent, uh, looking back um, at the Chilcot inquiry. Um, they, when that inquiry started, it was announced that the committee would be able to request any British document and call any British citizen to give evidence. But times have somewhat moved on since then. What that means that, you know, maybe conversations that you might have face to face you now uh, typing quickly on your phone. And if we don't protect those sort of conversations between ministers, maybe they won't be talking as much as they should during a crisis in future. Well, maybe, Kay, they will be acting uh, with decorum, uh, judgment and integrity, so there'll be nothing for them to be ashamed of when they become open. Look, in today's society, Everything is open, uh, pretty much. Even 30 years ago, the Cabinet Secretary told me that everything talked about in Cabinet was in the first edition of the Evening Standard. That was 30 years ago. This is just uh, simply not acceptable. The judge in charge of the inquiry, inquiry has to find out. The COVID story was so serious. Uh, Boris Johnson was such a reprehensible Prime Minister, so anarchic. Uh, the Cabinet uh, Secretary, uh, new in post, put in at the uh, request of the uh, Prime Minister's um, chief aide, who himself was totally anarchic. We can't go back to this kind of government. There's no precedent here because it was so unprecedented to have a Prime Minister like Boris Johnson and a chief uh, aide to the Prime Minister, more powerful than any chief aide in history, and it's such a sensitive time. We need to find out exactly the truth of what went on. Uh, the public needs and deserves to know they are public servants paid for by the public. Let's get to the bottom of it. And then after the, all this is over, uh, that might be the time to think about new ground rules. But for the moment, absolute disclosure is the very least the public deserve. How damaging might it be for the reputation of somebody like Boris Johnson, who finds himself uh, in a position where an inquiry, a judicial inquiry that he set up when he was Prime Minister is now threatening to sue because they can't access documents that he has? I don't think that Boris Johnson's reputation can go much lower than it is at the moment. I think that uh, most members of the public uh, know that Boris Johnson was a liar, know that he was not fit for purpose. He didn't have the integrity or the skills or the judgment uh, to run this great country, least of all at a time of such crisis. Uh, so I don't think that it will sink uh, much lower. I think that if the Prime Minister really is intent, as he said, on cleaning up uh, the country after uh, the mess of three years of Boris Johnson, then I think it's very clear what the Prime Minister needs to do here. We need to find out uh, the truth, uh, exactly what happened, and then people will know. Uh, and we can then move on. We're not going to move on till we get to the truth. We're not going to get to the truth till we get the documents. We're not going get, to get the documents if uh, these excuses are put up. Um, those that support Boris Johnson are saying this is just a, yet another attempt to tarnish his image. He's already paid with his job. It should stop now. Well, they would say that wouldn't they? But they are a diminishing number uh, of friends. Let's remember that he did win a landslide in December 2019. 
his MPs, his cabinet ministers were behind him and one by one, when they discovered what he was like, as I did talk about in that book, Johnson at 10, uh, one by one, uh, they abandoned him because they thought he simply, for all his undoubted uh, skills, his optimism, uh, his good humour, um, his occasional oratory, uh, he was not fit or honest enough to be worthy of the very distinguished and noble job of being prime minister. So they abandoned him. He has fewer and fewer friends left. And I think at the end of this, the number will be even smaller.